Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation and it's special. As I said, this Friday night. Hello, Gennady. Hi, Eddie. How are you? Hi, Eddie. I'm good. Good, good, well, good. Look well. forward to seeing you. Uh, I fly tomorrow, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And, Sounds good. Uh, looking forward to a very important night this Friday live on the zone. Gennady Golovkin will make the 21st record-breaking defense of his middleweight world championship against Zerometa, undefeated Polish mandatory challenger at the Hard Rock in Florida. Very, very excited. And um, we're going to pass to the floor for a few questions shortly. But firstly, Gennady, you look in great shape. You're like, you're like uh, Benjamin Button. You look younger all, every time I see you. <laughs> you, know, uh, you look great, feeling good, had a good camp. And I feel great. Guys, we're going to go to the floor for questions, please. It's not working. Pardon me, sorry. Mar uh, Marshall with the first question, please. Hey, Gennady, how are you doing? Uh, good. So, so with the COVID restrictions and everywhere and all over the place, how was camp for you? Was it easy to get sparring? How, how was that for you? Can I speak Russian, yeah? Да-да, пожалуйста. Ну, в принципе, было достаточно много времени адаптироваться к COVID, то есть к такому событию, что происходит в этом году. И, в принципе, благодаря своей команде мы смогли найти себе и тренировочный кемп, пройти его успешно. И благодаря тем людям, кто меня поддерживает, мы смогли хорошо подготовиться. Um, um, yes, indeed. Uh, but we had enough time to adapt uh, to the COVID situation this year. And uh, thanks to my team, uh, we were able to organize the training camp and uh, get ready for the fight. Okay. And, and being prepared for the fight, did, did, did he have to do anything special in preparation for this opponent in, in sparring? Or is just general? В принципе, да, в принципе, готовились по общему. Опять же, немножко работали больше над различными спектрами, над другими. Ну, работа, в принципе, была всегда такая трудовая, сильная, умная. Так что я себя чувствую великолепно. Думаю, что мы готовы хорошо. Yes, it was more of a general training, and at the same time, I tried to broaden my scope. And uh, an, a special emphasis was uh, made on power training. And I feel that uh, I'm ready uh, for this fight. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Martin. Uh, Dan Raphael, please. Oh, thank you very much, Anthony. Hello, everybody. Eddie, good to see you. Gennady, it's nice to talk to you. How have you been? Glad to, uh, glad to be on here with you. Um, my question for you is, this fight against uh, Zermeda has been a long time coming for you. I know it was supposed to be back in the spring, and I just wondered if you could describe if there's been any frustration in getting to the point where you knew you had a date and everything was set because there was a long period of time where I know your team was working hard with the zone and with Eddie to try to get this situated um, while they were also ironing out the remainder of their calendar. Ну да, с каждым, с каждым ä, приближением к бою все больше и больше начинало вериться в то, что действительно этот бой случится. Действительно этот бой хотелось и ожидалось с начала года, так что все это тянулось, затянулось. А много было вещей, которые нам не давали сделать этот бой. Я, я рад тому, что этот бой действительно будет и он пройдет в эту пятницу. Я хочу поблагодарить всех и Мальшума, и Дазон за организацию этого боя, что мы сейчас все готовы. 
Um, yes, indeed. Uh, but um, when we, uh, as we approached to, to this fight, the more faith I had that this fight will indeed take place. Uh, of course, I would want, would have wanted for this high, for this fight to take place uh, in the beginning of this uh, year. But uh, I would like to use this opportunity to thank everyone involved, Matchroom, The Zone, uh, my team, uh, to make this possible. And I'm really happy that. Uh, Indeed, this coming Friday, this fight will take place. Can I just uh, ask one follow-up, Anthony? If that's okay. Fire away. And I, I know Gennady that you're very happy that it's finally set, but I know there there was you know on the business side. I know you're excited to be back in the ring because that's you know you're a championship boxer. But I know that on the business side, it was complicated. There was a lot of conversation that DAZN was trying to redo deals and change money and all that kind of stuff. Can you speak to uh, from the businessman, Gennady Golovkin? Uh, what that was like to deal with as you were trying also to prepare for a fight? Dan, I will answer that question. I know that uh, Gennady wants to focus just on, on the fight. And uh, I think he believes that he's uh, happy with the situation and he will address everything moving forward following this weekend. But we focus on the fight on Saturday. Okay, not really an answer, but thank you. <laughs> Friday. Friday. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Dan. And uh, Ames next, please. Ames here for Boxing News TV. Gennady, you're coming up to a history-making fight. First of all, congratulations. And you've had some amazing fights along the way. What I want to know is, of the fights that could have been made but weren't because fighters avoided you, which fight did you wish was made and why? Я рад, я рад, да, что вы все-таки упоминаете, что для меня это, это исторический бой. Да, я думаю, что в будущем многие люди все равно это будут понимать и осознают, что это действительно для среднего веса будет такой исторический бой. И хотелось бы его провести действительно раньше. Отвечая на ваш вопрос, я бы, наверное, сказал бы, что каждый сильный, каждый спортсмен, каждый соперник – Тот, кто отклонялся от боя, был на свое, в свое время силен, был в топе и действительно чем-то выделялся. Я думаю, что все в тот момент мне интересно противостояние было. Знаете, наверное, я скажу, наверное, о Келли Павлике. Келли Павлик мне очень сильно симпатизировал в то время, когда мы все примерно начинали и восходили. Uh, thank you very much for uh, calling this fight historic. I believe that uh, with time, people will realize that uh, this coming Friday, uh, the fight will indeed be a historic fight for the middleweight division. And uh, I should uh, also say that I wish it would have taken place earlier. Uh, answering your question, I believe that every opponent that I met uh, with was a strong opponent was at the top at the time. And uh, speaking about the boxers, I would mention Kelly Public. Uh, Kelly Public was a boxer we were all, uh, uh, were all uh, look, looking okay. for. That's it. Yeah, can you hear them? And, yeah. Uh, yeah um, this is uh, some, something uh, that uh, we've been all uh, looking up to. So that's the bo boxer I would mention, Kelly Public. Thank you. Carlos, next, please. Hi, Gennady. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. You know, you, you mentioned this being a historic fight for your career as a middleweight champion. In your opinion, you know, you've done just about everything that can be done in your career as a middleweight, but do you personally feel that there is still some things that you feel like you can still accomplish at 160 pounds? I still don't have anything to achieve. That is, I need to чтобы достигнуть своего желания, надо победить в пятницу вечером. После того, как пройдет этот бой, мы будем уже разговаривать о том, что мне стоит еще достигнуть. I have not achieved everything that I wanted to, to achieve. Uh, I first need to, to win on Friday, and after that, uh, I will start looking into other opportunities uh, and uh, other options that. Uh, 
I need to look into in order to do, uh, have more achievements in my career. Mm -hmm. Just a quick follow up, you know, this is going to be obviously your first in one fight of 2020. You've been accustomed to fighting multiple times for throughout your career, especially, you know, twice a year in the last few years. Is the a goal to maybe get at least two fights in for 2021? Yeah, yeah, I hope. But it's all related to the pandemic. I'm happy that everything is changing, that everything is getting better and clearer. И многие были в такой ситуации, многие провели всего лишь по одному бою после мировой паузы. Так что я думаю, что все наладится и будет гораздо больше. Yes, I do hope uh, to have more fights uh, during the year, but uh, it's obviously uh, was caused by uh, the pandemic. And uh, I'm not the only one. Many fighters ended up in this situation when they only had just uh, one fight during the, this year. Uh, but uh, hopefully it's getting better. And uh, with time, uh, we'll, have an opportunity, we'll have opportunities to uh, fight more. Thank you. Cynthia next, please. Hi, Gennady. How are you? Hope all is well. Uh, Cynthia Conte for Ring, Ring TV. I know that you've been wanting to fight back home in Kazakhstan. Is that still possibly a plan once this pandemic has lifted and possibly you fought here um, in the States? Has that, is that still on your radar? No, надо понимать, насколько долго у нас будет пандемия еще. То есть, когда она вообще пройдет, насколько будут открыты границы, насколько откроется Казахстан. То есть, ну, это желание то всегда есть. Я хотел бы боксировать вообще по всему миру и открыть для этого, чтобы боксировать по всему миру. Конечно, конечно, это было бы здорово боксировать в разных странах. Um, speaking about a fight in Kazakhstan, a lot of will depend on how long this pandemic uh last uh, and uh, when will the borders open and uh, but I do have this desire and I'm open to uh, participate in fights and boxing all over the world so I'm looking forward to many fights around the globe best of luck to you Gennady well, thank, thank, you. You. thank you Cynthia um, Xavier next please what's going on champ how you feeling out there Feel great. All right, that's what's up. Okay. Uh, first off, we welcome you back. It's been a minute. We miss you. Um, quick question for you as well as Eddie Hearn. Uh, the win this coming next week is the goal to maybe try to get another another fight against um, against Canelo, a third fight against Canelo. And Eddie Hearn, can you share as to what went into a decision with the, choosing the opponent of a guy who's 21 and 0 with five KOs? He has more knockouts than his career. Well, I'll, I'll answer that if uh, Gennady's okay with it. I think that all of the focus is on Friday night. Um, everybody got to witness two tremendous fights with Triple G against Canelo, and who knows what the future holds. But all that matters is Friday night as against Zerometa. In terms of the selection of the opponent, when you are a champion, you have to face mandatory defenses. Zerometa is the mandatory defense. He's an undefeated fighter. He's a, a very good fighter that's ready for the challenge. And he's very hungry. And all of these guys rise to the occasion when they fight a great fighter. It doesn't matter if it's Joshua, doesn't matter if it's Triple G, Canelo. All of these guys rise to the occasion because the victory against someone like Gennady Golovkin would be the ultimate achievement for Zerometa in his country, in Poland, and everybody back home. So... For the Canelo staff and everything, that's the future. What matters is Friday night, defend his title, make a record-breaking defense, and uh, get business taken care of. Hi, Gennady. How you doing, mate? Good. Gennady, I need to ask you, there's uh, an opinion out there that you've show, shown signs of vulnerability against the likes of Steve Rolls and Derachenko. Derachenko. Are you still uh, a prime Gennady Golovkin. Тяж... Нет, тяжело рассказать. Как, как сказать мне, как атлету, сказать на пике? Вы знаете, как бы ту скорость, которую я показываю в зале, ту силу, физическую подготовность, ту выносливость, которая у меня есть, и я 
демонстрирую ее на спаррингах в зале, то есть она ничем не хуже, чем тогда, когда она была, например, даже 5 лет назад. Даже я где-то считаю, что сейчас я стал посильнее, потому что ряд э, таких вещей, как тренер по физподготовке я поменял. То есть я взял себе тренера по физподготовке. Я чувствую, наоборот, я стал сильнее и более опытным. Я, наоборот, думаю, что я потихоньку-потихоньку преображаюсь. Well, it's difficult for me to say why, whether I'm at the prime or, or not, but uh, during training, uh, when I do sparring, I feel uh, great, I feel uh, as strong, as powerful, uh, as tenacious, uh, have a lot of as stamina as I had, for example, five years ago, if uh, maybe even even better and uh i did introduce certain changes uh, into my training i have a new trainer for physical uh training so and uh, there have been some changes made uh, to uh my training thank you viper sport next please hi Gennady, how are you doing yes good to good to see you back in the ring man i'm really excited for saturday Uh, listen, the boxing world is going crazy. We've been seeing some, you know, crazy fights, um, crazy matchups, and also some unexpected matchups as well, like exhibitions and stuff like that. Uh, I want to take your opinion on um, Mr. Floyd Mayweather making a return to the ring, fighting a YouTuber. And is this something that boxing com boxing's coming to? Could we ever see you in the ring for an exhibition against some sort of celebrity? Ну, вы знаете, это же все дело предложения, все дело спроса. То есть это, конечно, то, что делают эти бои коммерческие, они притягивают зрителей. То есть, конечно, это было бы интересно. И я, в принципе, открыт к такому. Было бы интересно посмотреть себя в другом амплуа. Um, of course, it will depend on demand for those type of fights. Uh, they are very attractive and from the commercial point of view uh, as well. And I believe that I would be open to an opportunity like that. Damn, so uh, Gennady Golovkin against Logan Paul 2022. Who knows? <laughs> All the best on Saturday. Nobody knows. Great, thank you. And the final question for Gennady. Thank you so much for joining us, Gennady. And, the, and your last question comes from Corner Man, please. Hey, how you doing, champ? Good, good. So, champ, as we know, every time you bring the big drama show, the environment is one of the craziest in boxing, the way all the fans get. Do you feel not having the fans there for this match could affect your performance at all without having their energy there? Uh, you know, yeah, definitely, I wanted to give you те эмоции, сделать праздник из своего вечера, то есть сделать максимально, чтобы фанаты бокса получили наслаждение от моего вечера, от моего выступления. И многими вещами я даже, как бы сказать так, жертвовал, чтобы больше зрителей получило больше удовольствия. В данный момент сейчас новая ситуация, мы к ней подстраиваемся. Я действительно видел пару вечеров, где проводилось без зрителей, но я скажу так, что как бы там ни было, сделана замечательная работа, мы, я думаю, что все смогли потихоньку уже перестраиваться, немножко осознать, понять, что мы находимся в такой ситуации. Я хотел бы подчеркнуть и выделить замечательную работу это Мэтшум, это Эдди Херн, то есть все его команды, то есть это Дозон, как они сейчас делают, на каком они уровне в, в нынешней ситуации проводят вечера, это просто замечательно. Um, yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, I've always uh, like wanted to, to be as many fans uh, uh, to be present at the fights as, as possible. And uh, people know that from time to time, I even uh, made certain steps uh, for more people to see uh, the fights. Uh, but it's new a reality right now. And uh, we had to adjust uh, to the situation where we need to fight uh, with no crowd present. At the same time, I should say that a, grad, a great job uh, has been done uh, for us uh, to adjust to this. And I would like 
to once again to congratulate uh, Matchbox and Eddie Hearn uh, on his uh, efforts and efforts of his team as well as the zone, uh, the level of organization of those fights. And I did see uh, already several fights uh, with no crowd uh, is uh, excellent. And uh, uh, I'm really grateful for, uh, for them to be part of this. All right, champ. Thank you so much. Wish you the best Saturday night going forward. Anytime, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. And that's um, that's Gennady's time for today. So thank you all for joining. We still have some more people left, of course, but um, I don't know whether Eddie wants to have some final words to uh, before he sees Gennady tomorrow. Yeah, just want to say, uh, Gennady, thank you for your time. We'll see you tomorrow. We look forward to Friday night live on the zone. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free, impartial advice on all your debt.